Hey guys, all right, I'm here with another unboxing. Uh, this thing I picked up uh, off eBay, but I think it came from China uh, due to the labels and stuff. Uh, we're gonna pop this open real quick. Well, not very, but it's crushed a bit. You can see it. Alright, let's get this thing out of here. And the box is a little, hmm. a little wibbly wobbly. Ta-da! Yes, another RC car. This one, high speed car. Uh, hit the road, four wheel drive, brush off road, truggy, RC four wheel drive. Um, this is cheap, very cheap. Got it from eBay, like I said, and it probably came from China because I think there's a couple websites that have this on there, like Banggood and Ali. Um, it has oversized tires. <laughs> and it has the car guard frame. That's probably on the inside. And then it has high strength shocks. That is pretty cool. Um, it comes in different colors, of course. Um, I would consider this a toy grade considering how cheap it was, but I actually wanted to get it because this was said to have been 1 16th scale. Um, so I wanted to see the remote there says, shows the instructions for the remote, turn left and right, forward and reverse, and there's an indicator. Which is pretty cool. I'm glad there's an indicator. Um, I don't... There's nothing on here about scale. There. That's the other one, the red one. And then down here, uh, everything's in Chinese or Taiwanese, I think. I don't, I'm not sure. Korean, maybe? I don't know. Might be Korean. But you can see it's batteries. I just wanted to get something to uh, wreck around with. Um, I don't have high hopes for this, nor do I have high expectations that this will last. Um, I just wanted to see what it was what it was like compared to the Traxxas um, SST, uh, the pre-runners. I wanted to see you know how it would compare. Uh, I believe the box is already open, it's not taped. I believe this was like 50 bucks, if even that. Um, again, I didn't have high hopes for it. I thought the body was cool. This is a cool design. I know it's based off of another RC company's car. This specific body is based off of something else. This may be the generic GP knockoff version of it. Um, which is whatever. I we're gonna try it out. We're gonna run it through the sand and dirt and see how she does. I don't have high expectations. There's nothing else in the box. We put that to the side. Sorry about that chalkboard stuff. I like the flat color. It's pretty cool. Oh, hard plastic body. A tiny, tiny spare wheel. It's not even the same size as the others. Okay. Here's the radio. It's cool black and red radio. It's kind of. It's got a small. I mean, it's a little tight in the hand. Uh, right here. Uh, it, you know. It, I mean, the trigger. It feels stiff. And just a plastic wheel. Didn't expect much. 
2.4 gigahertz, supposedly. 2.4 gig. We'll see. We'll see how far she goes. Pull the car out. And move back extra bitties. Probably gonna toss this junk because it's pretty much garbage. What is this? A USB charger, maybe. Yeah, looks like a USB type charger. Um. Okay. Interesting. 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 Here is the vehicle. Very, very, very stiff. Yeah, these shocks are stiff. Holy crap. And the body looks like it's all screwed on. There are no pins. Yep, body is all screwed on. There's actually an interior. You probably can't see it. But there is a little bit of an interior there. Um, it's probably just going to collect dirt and dust because it's open windows. big spongy tires no there's no foam in them they're put they're on with screws just regular screws so I wonder if I could take these off and put them on something else we'll see oh that's a lot of wobble look at that look at all that wobble let's try that again <laughs> again I don't have high expectations but it looks like it has okay so it's two-wheel drive it has a slip or, uh, it has a uh, differential in there somewhere. Oh man, it's got that steering thing on the bottom. Crap. I hate these things. This is so garbage. And there's the suspension. It's got like that old school grasshopper hornet suspension kind of. I mean, that was, that was way better than this. Uh, just regular spring shocks. Those springs must be heavy duty. I definitely think we're going to break this guy. Although, I really like that body. I might take the body off and try to put that on something else, like a Teton or something. Maybe on the pre-runner. We'll see if it'll fit on the pre-runner. I mean, it does have a frame underneath the body. But my point, my thing is, why... Why would you put a whole frame underneath a plastic shell that doesn't come off? doesn't make sense. You know, it's got little steering arms. There's a screw there to get the batteries open. We're not going to do that right now. I like the body though. It's such a cool little futuristic... Like I could see this in a military color. You know what I'm saying? Like a military type vehicle. Some, some desert camouflage or something. The, the Army's new Humvee. What's this? Row Row? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh, Road. Huh. There you go, guys. Um, cheap purchase, impulse purchase. Um, I'm trying to get different scale RCs. Uh, I want to get a Kyosho Mini Z. I'm actually looking at a 124 scale crawler. Uh, it's supposed to be really, really good. Um, I, I like the tiny scales; they're they're really cool. Um, I don't; I'm not gonna get a bunch of them. I just want to get one of each at least, so I can, you know, test them out and have you know, run them around the house. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this guy, like I said, this this guy here, whew, I might. I don't know. I'm gonna battery it up, get her out there, and and break it and see what I can do with it you know or I'm, I'm, I'm saying that not intentionally I know it's gonna break it's just the quality of the product build is not there I mean that's a hard shell which is kind of cool and like I said maybe maybe these bumpers and stuff I could salvage parts the wheels we'll see what we can do with all that um, I'm not gonna try to upgrade this thing this is just a fake shell it's not even it's not even a real wheel it's like a hollow thing what's it's whatever but um Here's the front of it. 
like I said, I'm gonna. I want to pick up a Teton from Tracks for the Tracks, you know, and uh, I might just throw this body. I don't like the Teton body. I don't like that. It's the micro version of the um, Traxxas Summit. I want to say. I think that's it. The Traxxas Summit. I, I, I want to say that's it. Uh, but I, I don't like that body style. So, and I know Traxxas's bodies are like fictional bodies. They're not real. But still, I mean, you could have tried at least. So it's got lights, like headlights, and there's actually molding in there to make it look like a blinky light. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm gonna try this thing out. We're gonna see what it's like. I'll show you guys. I'll do a running video of this with my son and see how we do. Um, <laughs> and then we'll go from there. Um, and if worse comes to worse, like I said, I'm gonna peel this body off of here, screw by screw. And I'm gonna put it on something else because I really like that body. You know, and let's face it, like uh, a brand new Lexan body for most Latrax cars are 10 bucks. You know, uh, most RC car bodies are 20 to 40 bucks. Most high quality Tamiya's, you know, or uh, some pro lines, or not the pro lines, a uh, killer body, you know, uh, they, they go up to 100, you know, almost 100 bucks, you know. So, eh, 50 bucks for the body, possibly the wheels, and maybe the bumpers, if I can figure out a way to get those off, because it looks like. It looks like this one's attached with screws, but this one looks like it's actually attached to the motor housing and gearbox. So we'll see what we can do if it breaks. If it doesn't break, if it doesn't break, we're going to leave it as is if it doesn't break. We're gonna, it, it's going to be just like that. Um, and we'll keep running it. But if it breaks, then we're going to scrap this whole thing and salvage whatever parts we can and deck out my uh, my next project which would be the Teton um, or maybe another pre-runner I don't know we'll see it's kind of pre-runner size I don't, you know it does have one of the servos do go back that's, that's kind of interesting for a cheapy car oh, I hate that though man I hate I hate these things these things never fucking go straight ever it's not independent no that's that doesn't even move okay that's interesting that does not even move what the fuck Are you guys move barely that's, that's gonna that's gonna hit hard man that's gonna break something on the jump. We're gonna test it though. All right, guys. That is the um, shit. I don't even know what this is called. It's a high-speed car, hit the road, four-wheel brush, off-road truggy, RC, remote control. That's it. You can find it on eBay if you want one for yourself. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.